Hey everyone, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm gonna quickly explain the difference between MHC1 and MHC2. What you need to know is that your nucleated cells in your body, what does that mean? Any cell with a nucleus. Uh, some of the cells without a nucleus would include your red blood cells, your platelet cells. Okay, we're not talking about those red blood cells or platelet cells, but the nucleated cells of your body, your brain cells, your heart cells, your liver cells, your skin cells, any nucleated cell has a structure, a protein on the top called MHC1, Major Histocompatibility Complex 1, MHC1. I think I've drawn it before with a arrow at the top, MHC1. MHC1 is on the surface of your nucleated cells. This is all cells, including this is what some students confuse sometimes. Even your ant, your professional antigen presenting cells, you know, the B cells, the, uh, the, the, the dendritic cells, the macrophages, even those cells have MHC1 on their surface. So all your cells have MHC1 on your surface. The nucleated cells have MHC1 on their surface. All right, whereas only your professional antigen presenting cells. Those are your B cells, dendritic cells, and the macrophages. The B cells, dendritic cells, macrophages, these are the cells of your body that in addition to having MHC1, they have MHC2, okay? So there you go. That's how you know if a cell has MHC1 or MHC2. All of your nucleated cells have MHC1, but only the professional antigen presenting cells. The B cells, the dendritic cells, and the macrophages have both. All right, so I hope that cleared up any issues, and I'll catch you guys next time.